Picture the scene. One of your most loyal clients has had a year of terrible bad luck. Things look bleak. They need your help to present the numbers to their stakeholders. Tell the story right and you can help your client to bounce back. Tell it wrong and it could be the end of their business. So how far should you go to create a believable story? And where would you draw the line? In real life, you're bound to face ethical dilemmas like this one. It's your job to spot when trying to help has gone too far and use your professional judgment to choose the best way forward. Another example, you've recently taken up a new job. Your new colleagues are about to pull off a major deal. Everyone is very excited. Everyone that is, except you. You know that the deal is a big mistake. The problem is that you only know that because of confidential information you were privy to when working with a client in your previous job. If you keep quiet, the deal will backfire and people will lose their livelihoods. If you speak up, you'll be breaking client confidentiality. To make matters worse, when the deal goes wrong, it will be obvious that you would have known. You see, sometimes it feels, when faced with an ethical dilemma, as though none of the options are great. In these situations, all you can do is choose the best course of action, and then most importantly, you have to follow it. Take the case of Cynthia Cooper. In 2002, the former Vice President of Internal Audit for telecommunications giant WorldCom discovered false accounting entries that artificially inflated the company's profits by billions of dollars. Despite overwhelming pressure to keep the matter confidential, Cooper's integrity won out and she blew the whistle on the USA's then largest corporate fraud in history. So what are you supposed to do when faced with an ethical dilemma in your accounting role? Here are three questions you can ask yourself. One. What does the law say? The steps you take to resolve an ethical dilemma must be lawful. Two, what might happen? Write down what courses of action you could take to resolve the ethical dilemma and their consequences. You're aiming for the course of action that is the most ethical and the least problematic. Three, who can you ask? If the dilemma is too much to deal with alone, seek help, ideally from management. Make sure to check your company's confidentiality and whistleblowing policies before asking for help from elsewhere. Dealing with ethical dilemmas in accounting isn't easy. That's why the professional bodies take it so seriously. Make time to reflect on ethics and include it in your CPD so that you know the principles and processes to consider when dealing with those tricky grey areas. It shouldn't be a dilemma.